Hello, Lupita. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Great day with work. Uh, it's been a very hot day. It doesn't want to rain. <laughs> Is it hot there? Yes. Here in Sulutan it's hot too. Too hot. Imagine that you are in San Salvador. It's hot. In Usulután, it's triple. Exactly. Yes. Mande? 36. Centígrado 36. Calor. Terrible. 36 degrees. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so, estaba chequeando eh, Lupita. Uy, yo no tengo activada la cámara. Espera, espera. <risa> Pensé que la tenía activada. Eh, estaba chequeando el, la plataforma y me aparece como que usted está en progreso, o sea, como que se está realizando el test. Ah. Por eso le decía yo que, por eso le decía yo que lo cargara, porque mire. Si se fija acá, me aparece en progreso y no me da opción de volvérselo a asignar porque me aparece como que usted se lo está realizando ahorita. Acá. Voy a abrir acá. Fíjense que acá me aparece en la plataforma. Voy a activar mi, mi, mi cámara. Ok. Um, sí, sí. Um, ok. Eh, aparece así. Ajá, pero dele clic ahí en el verdecito. En acá. Ajá. Ah, acá me sigue Ajá. Para, que, para que continúe. Pero eh, hasta, hasta ahorita, porque yo intenté y no me parecía así. Ok, y le faltará bastante para finalizarlo, porque como son 90 minutos, ¿verdad? Le faltará bastante para terminar. Fíjense que voy en esta parte, Ticha. Uh, a saber, no sé, ahí cuánto le faltará. No dice cuántas son. Ahí tiene, um, le falta, déjeme, súbale un poquito que no veo. Dice cuatro, cinco, son siete. Sí, siete del, del listening. Oh, y le faltaría otro después. Yo creo que sí, porque es el primero, porque ya hice dos de los que solo se contesta. Ajá. Sí, porque si le faltaba poquito, le iba a dar tiempo para que no se le venciera. Pero pues usted decide, ¿verdad? Si, de, si eh, empezamos con la clase y que se le venza o eh, hacérselo ahorita. You decide. Um, no creo que me tarde mucho, teacher. Aunque no sé si faltará okay. mucho más. Aunque no sé cuánto faltará. Entonces, faltará un listening más. En, porque por lo general son dos listening. Empieza a hacerlo entonces. Y si tiene alguna duda, me pregunta ahorita. Y luego vemos el, el, el resultado final. Para que no pierda el, la primera oportunidad. El, en la letter 4 iba de este listening. Ah, ok. So ter Termínalo entonces. Sí. Y eh, aquí voy a estar yo por cualquier cosita. Y luego seguimos con la clase. Bueno, está bien, Para está que bien. no pierda el impulso de la primera. Vaya, vaya.
Hello, Alma. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. A little busy, but entitled, but I'm great. Okay. And how is your husband? Is he better? Yes, he gets better. Thank you for asking. Okay, thanks, guys. Okay, Alma, so we are going to start the class. Lupita right now is taking the test because she was having some problems with the test and she is taking the test now. So let's just start uh, you and me and then Lupita is going to incorporate to us, okay? Okay. Um, so tell me, Alma, what do you remember about Saturday's class? What do we did? <laughs> Saturday class. Um, what? Um, was about a uh, vocabulary. Okay. Uh, uh, we made a uh, uh, a record record, but I couldn't do. Um, was on. <laughs> Teacher, I gotta remember in this moment <laughs> about package. I I think I I, I heard um, a soundtrack about is the correct soundtrack? No, or play? Yeah. yeah. About sending package. Okay, very good. So today's class, um, we are going to finish the unit number seven talking about unit number seven and then we are going to move on to unit number uh, eight but first we have to finish unit seven and then to unit number eight and uh, for this class we are going to um, review the passive voice and also um we are going to review some models and we are going to practice through the models, through, through models, I'm sorry, and we are going to use different activities to incorporate models into the activity. So that is what we are going to do. Okay. Any question? Mm, it's like a conditional. Um, not conditional, they are models. Models and conditionals are different. So the models are in lesson number, let's see, four, lesson four from unit seven in the platform. That is uh, why we are going to review models. We are going to practice with uh, different activities and through different exercise too. But models in, in, uh, what what was the word you said? Conditionals Condition. are different. Models and uh -huh. models and conditionals are different. Two different things. Okay, Alma. Um, to start the class, let's play this game. We are gonna start with this game where you are going to select one number, and you should answer the question. Mm. Let me show you my screen. Um, what's up? No, here. You are going to select, there are 10 numbers, but you can just select five of them, five. Um, seven? Seven. Do you believe in magic? Yes, no, and why? <laughs> um, could be. <laughs> no, uh, a little bit. A little bit because I think, uh, yes, in, I believe, but, but uh, I know that there are two class, or oh, two magic class, for example, bad and good. Okay. And and so, sometimes magic is like uh, in people imagination. Okay. 
But what makes you believe in magic? What? Is there something special that makes you believe in magic? Um, or it's just because you think that good and bad things exist? Um, I have never had a, a experience or magical experience, but I have friends, I have friends that he, he said that they have had a bad experience or magical experience. And when they speak about that uh, or talk to about that, uh, they, I don't know, they, they, and they sound take, real. <laughs> yeah, taking, se lo toman a pecho? Personal. They take it personal. Uh -huh, they take it personal, yes. Okay, select the second number. Two. What's the weirdest food you have ever eaten? The weirdest. I don't know what is weirdest. La más extraña. The weirdest mm. food you have ever eaten? <laughs> I have never eaten the greatest food because I don't like to, to eat uh, a strange thing. The most greater in my personal case have been a um, rabbit. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. So you don't like to try new things? No, I don't like when I I, I see uh, something weird in the food. I don't like to to take. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the same happens to me. The same happens to me. I think the greatest thing I have ever eaten it's rabbit too. If I eat no more, <laughs> just rabbit. If I eat the common food. Um, yes. Alma, select the third number. Um, ten. ten. If you could choose any person from history to be your imaginary friend, who would it be and why? A person from history, I mean a person that passed away. That person <sighs> can be your imaginary friend. Who will you choose and why? I don't know, teacher. Um, imaginary friend. So, you a real person who died? Who is that or, or imaginary? A person who passed away, que ya murió, a person who passed away. Okay. Um, who would okay. you select? Mm, I had a, I had a, a friend. What? That's a good friend. And he passed away oof, around 27 years ago. But imagine, Alma, that this person is from history. I mean, um, a famous person, a famous person. Famous Who would you person. select? A famous person, a person from history. Que ya pasó a la historia, pero que probably is famous or was famous by the time. Elvis Presley. Okay, why? Uh, because I saw uh, a documentary about him, and the documentary uh, a nurse spoke about uh, that they never took the camera, never took a real picture about him, uh, because he was a real beautiful person but never took a real picture. 
just uh, so how how to explain um i'm not sure a picture and i would okay. i would like to to meet him like he was okay you would like to meet uh, and you would like to see if it is real yes. his beautifulness yes okay select the four number uh, three Can you do an impression of a monkey? If so, show us. How monkeys do? I can't understand this impression. Okay. Puedes hacer una impresión de un monkey? Si es así, muéstranos. What does a monkey do? Like a print. No. It can be like a gesture. It can be like a sound. <laughs> um, and I have to make the, the sound. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't I don't like the box. I hate <laughs> it. Ahorita me acabo de dar cuenta que I hate them, digo. Yes, I hate it. I don't like okay. it. Okay. So, you can't? They can't. Okay, so le faltaría entonces tu nombre porque este queda descalificado. Select another number. Um, nine. Nine. What is your favorite subject or what was your favorite subject in a school or in high school? Mm, my favorite subject was a uh, account when I was in high school because the teacher was a uh, great, really great in that subject. Um, it's, it's interesting in my personal opinion. It's interesting to to understand and following the steps to get a, a small uh, score, you need to, to follow a step, but it's interesting. Okay, very good. And select the last number. Uh, one. Could you give a compliment to the person on your left? ¿Será que le puede dar un cumplido? En este case, como solo está Lupita, ¿será que le puede dar un cumplido a Lupita? Aunque después lo, lo escuche ella. <risa> eh, Porque está she concentrada is very en, el, en el test. Uh -huh. She is very responsible because she never misses uh, to the English class. And like other, like me and others, classmates. Ok. Very good, Alma. Great job. So let's continue. When Lupita finished, she's going to incorporate. Ahorita está concentrated. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? Um, we were talking about sending a package, right? Okay. So right now, we are going to listen a pizza delivery. So try to pay attention and you are going to answer some questions. Okay? Okay, yes. Hold on a second. I will show you my screen. Okay, let's listen and then answer the question. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? 
Well, wait. Uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure. What would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas、oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste.、Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms on one half, and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and can I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually,、uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks plus a three dollar coupon for use with your next order. Huh? Uh, sure. Why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And can I have your name? Uh, yeah, Jay Han. Uh, did you say Jay Han? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah,、uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number. It's thirteen forty South, sixteen East, and the phone number is three four zero eighteen seventy. Okay. Let me repeat your order: a large half and half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J Han. Not Han. Yeah, that's right. At three forty South, sixteen East, three four zero eighteen seventeen. Is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's eighteen seventy, not seventeen. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in thirty minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great. Thanks. Okay. Would you like to listen one more time, or can we answer the questions now? No. Okay, let's answer the questions. Which topping is not mentioned as one available from this pizza shop? Italian chicken. Correct. Very good. The man. Finally, orders a pizza with pepperoni and mushrooms, one side and on the other side. What's the word who completes here? In what? Green peppers. An Italian sausage. Uh huh. Very good. Correct. The man orders with his pizza. A drink and chicken stick. Okay, it was bread stick and a beverage. <laughs> What is the total of his order? <laughs> um, it's the same teacher. Fifteen nine, no, fifteen nineteen, fifteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine, fifteen nineteen. Oh, <laughs> what is the man's address?、Uh, remember. <laughs> No, I can't remember, teacher. Tell me one randomly. Thirteen four forty. At the first, <laughs> the first. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Guessing. Guessing. Pero sí. Okay, and we got three <laughs> corrects from five. Very good. <laughs> Nice job. Okay, Alma. What's the activity now? You have to investigate on the web about a、um, uh, about a popular company. 
it can be a company from food, it can be a music company, it can be a clothes company, whatever company you want to investigate about. The thing is that you have to investigate how this company was born and how it grows up in the business world. Then I will give you one minute and a half so you can speak about this company. It's clear? Yes, but you can, you're going to give me a time? Right now, yes, I will give you five minutes so you can look for the company you want and then you can read and then you are going to speak one minute and a half. Okay. Okay, so your five minutes start now. Okay. Three more minutes. Two more minutes.
Ok, Alma, ready? I, I guess. <laughs> So I will show you I, I will show you my screen so you can see the time. Because remember you are going to speak one minute and a half. And I I speak. I read. Okay. Go ahead. A Kentucky restaurant is a fast food and it was created by Harlan Sanders, and who started to make a spicy chicken in a small restaurant. And however, was in 1952 uh, when he opened his first KFC, like is uh, Kentucky in El Salvador, but. Uh, PepsiCo uh, is a company which bought uh, the company, the KFC company, but Sanders Face is uh, their corporate imaging. How do you ex uh, add still their still corporate imaging? They are still incorporating? They are still incorporate imagine uh, incorporate mm -hmm. incorporate uh -huh, imagine what's okay, a deal? That it? yes okay so um the owner of kfc was uh, Harlan, Harlan, Harlan Sanders uh -huh, yes what's uh, <laughs> Okay, but now, but now uh, the company belongs to uh, PepsiCo, well, the, the ah, okay. KFC company. Yes, the KFC company. And mm -hmm. he, he started to run in this uh, company because he was trying some what? Spicy? Food. A spicy chicken. No, a spicy chicken. Uh, Ah, spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. He made spicy the picante. <laughs> yes. Species. Uh, like or species or the species. Uh huh. Species because he he used a uh, eleven different species to make the the chicken. Okay. Now the question is, do you like? KFC chicken? Yes, I yes like it. or no, and why? Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> I, I like it, but I prefer. <laughs> I prefer Not totally convinced. No, I prefer pollo campero. <laughs> okay, and what's the difference you taste with these two companies, with Campero's company and KFC companies? Why do you prefer? Camperos, right? Yes. Uh, the taste, teacher. I, I don't like uh, what is the ingre ingredients to the pollo campero, but I like it. Yes, like uh -huh. a saladito. <laughs> Ajá, yes. Es que I think uh, camperos uh, chicken está como más uh, cook, más cocido en uh, KFC chicken is like bland, así como por dentro es como aguadito, blandito. Uh -huh, uh -huh. so, solo yes. lo crunchy que tiene es lo de lo de por fuera, pero ya de ahí es más como aguadito. Y en cambio el otro ya es está más overcooked, más cocido. My mother says eh, is colocho. <laughs> Oye, pero es colocho. <laughs> <laughs> ok. So now, Alma, the next activity you are going to do is you are going to match these nine words with uh, the meaning in Spanish. Um, I, I, I uh, recommend that do not use Google Translate. I mean, do it as the way you think it is. 
Then uh, you are going to read, I'm, I'm sorry, you are going to listen. You are going to listen the process of ordering uh, in the right way. And then you are going to uh, put the process in order. We have here the number one, and then you have to continue. They are 10 steps to order, I mean, in a right way. So you have to listen and then uh, put uh, the process in the right order. And here you have to match the words from your left with the words from the right. When you finish, click on Terminado, comprobar mis respuestas, and you send a screen capture to the WhatsApp group. I will send you the link. Okay. That's clear? I think. <laughs> okay, Lupita, finish? Finish, teacher. How was it? How was your score? Uh, score? Um, seven, seven. <laughs> 77, very good, great job, good. Okay, Lupita, so right now we are going to complete a worksheet. I don't know if you hear the instructions from the worksheet. More or less. Okay, I will explain you again. Here. I already sent the link into the WhatsApp group. First, you have to match the words uh, we have here in English with the words on the right that are in Spanish. As I said to Alma, I recommend that do not use Google Translate. I mean, if you don't know the word, just try to guess. Then in the second part, you are going to listen and you have to put the process of ordering in the right order. It's clear? Hello. Well, I suppose it's clear. I already <laughs> sent you the picture. <laughs> Digo yo, teacher. <laughs> okay, I already sent the, 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 the link into the WhatsApp group, and you will have five minutes. Tienen five minutes to complete it. Go ahead. Okay.
three more minutes. One more minute. Finish? No, teacher. Okay. Send teacher and WhatsApp group. Yes, send it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, very good. It's just missing Alma. Alma, finish. Um, al principio no entendía que eran números, teacher. <laughs> The numbers. Okay. Let's see. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
in the red. You got. <laughs> Problem. Alma, finish. Teacher is is and was um, mm. very nervous on the test. <laughs> you were nervous on the test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but you got a good grade. I mean, you got seventy-seven, almost eighty. Good. Yes. I mean, <laughs> seven point seven. Very good. Y si no le hubiera tocado hacerlo después y a esperar. So, okay. Así ya está libre. Hoy sí ya está libre. libre y ya solo le, solo le toca eh, esperar la clase del Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Thursday. Sí. And we finish. Um, Alma, I don't know if you finish. I okay. finished, you teacher, but I can, I can, I can send you. Okay, click on finish, y luego, o terminado, comprobar mis respuestas, y en la parte de arriba le va a aparecer eh, um, su nota. Ahí solo le tomo una captura, and then you send it to the WhatsApp group. Um, Okay, while Alma... Una imagen de TikTok me salió. <laughs> no sé qué pasó aquí. Pa pero le dio clic en terminado. En enviar. No. Ahorita le digo, espérenme. Ah, okay. Ahorita le digo. But here is here is the the, the worksheet. Acá tenemos la mm -hmm. worksheet. When you finish, sí, le da uh -huh. acá donde dice terminado. Y luego comprobar mis respuestas. Y en la parte de arriba me va a aparecer la nota. Ay, teacher, ¿y si salgo mal? <laughs> Solo va a ser una. <laughs> de los errores se aprende. We can learn from the mistake and you can check where was your mistakes. There is no problem. But we are uh, practicing our listening skills. Um, Finish? Will you do it? Vaya, ya le di y me aparece eh, un mensaje dice ah comprobar mis respuestas. Exacto. Solo una buena. <ríe> Solo una buena tengo de diez. No sé cómo. Okay. cómo Tomar eh, captura. Y está segura y le dio cargar nuevamente. Si le dio cargar nuevamente, entonces todo se le borró. Ah, sí, porque solo una me sale buena. No sé. Uh, refresh le habrá dado. Ajá, yo le dio refresh, como cargó nuevamente. O le dio hacia atrás. Hacia atrás, no sé qué pasó pero le aparecen las respuestas, así como acá. A mí aquí no me aparecen, le aparecen las respuestas que usted puso. Sí. Probablemente le dio refresh. Bye. When we finish the class, when we finish, 
you take it again and then you send the screen capture when we finish, okay? Let's Ay, continue. Está, ahí está, teacher, pero solo una me sale buena. Okay, okay, don't worry. Great, we can learn from the mistakes, Alma. Don't worry. Okay, now we are going to play this game and that is about shopping. Do you remember what is the name of unit seven? Sending a package, Saving right? Uh -huh, sending a package. So uh, since this is sending a package, it means that we can buy and we can shop different things. And now we are going to play this game that is about shopping. We have here uh, five categories, people, shops, sales, items, and money. You have to select one, read uh, the sentence, and then uh, answer the questions. Who wants to start, Alma or Lupita? I can't understand, teacher. Okay, Alma. Uh, you, have, you are going to select one of these categories and the number of points you want. Then, uh -huh. when you select the category and the number of points, you are going to read and then uh, answer the questions. In caso que sea una question. Si es de complete, you complete. Okay. But for example, I will select this one. Uh, Esta de sales. Dice, what is when items price is lower than usual? ¿Cómo se le llama eh, al hecho de que los, los eh, items, el precio de los items está en un costo bajo? ¿Cómo se le llama eso? O están a un bajo costo, están en rebajas. Discount. In discount. Aha, you see? Discount, very nice. good. Low price or discount? We have here a right answer. Um, Lupita, se me había olvidado. Select one number, uh, one category and the number of points. Es sticky, Lupita. Oh. Um. Shop and um, shop two hundred. Okay. okay, you can buy shoes, clothes, kitchen app appliances, or even mattresses here. Where? Where is it? Mm -hmm. um, this is in the question, but this question. Um, but you can buy, you can buy in this place, shoes, clothes, kitchen appliances, or even mattresses. Estos son como um, colchones. Where is it? In the mall. Shop in the mall. In the mall. Department store or the mall. Department yes, store. remember we uh, we call department store a, a place where there are different stores, como el mall, similar. Oh. Pero el mall se refiere al, al lugar, ¿verdad? Ya los department store es como inside, los places que hay inside. Okay. Alma? Yes. Um, A category and number of points. Sales. Sales. Okay. Sales, number of points. 300. What is the difference? between 
on sale and for sale. Uh, the difference is sale is an offer and for sale is when you give offer a product. No. Okay. On sale is a discount. For sale no. is available to, to buy. Cuando digan los objetos on sale es porque tienen un discount. For sale means that the product you want is available. Está disponible. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y Lupita. Ok. Um, people, 400. People who come to buy things, clients, what's the other word we can use? How do we call the people to buy things, to come to buy things? ¿Cómo se le llaman a las personas that come and buy things? I mean, clients, but there is another word, do you know? Yeah, uh, customers, customers. Costumers, very good. That was the word. Costumers, great. Next, Alma, category and number of points. Um, shops and one hundred. Shops 400. Where do you buy uh -huh. flowers or... I... Yeah, <laughs> Where do okay. you buy flowers or other plants? Do you know um, how to call that place? Eh, I don't know what is the name in, in Spanish. <laughs> What's the name in Spanish? El vivero. Garden. Flores. Oh, flores. Ajá. We call it flores. Eh, Lupita. And Two more. I mean, this one and one round more. Y una ronda más. Items. Um, Three hundred. Three hundred. Okay, men have wallets, but women have. ¿Cómo um, se le llama? Los hombres, ambas son eh, como carteras, ¿verdad? Pero donde se depositan los documentos. Pero el de los hombres se le llama wallet, y al de las girls, o al de las women. Handbag. Handbag. Forces. Oh, Son carteras, oh. pero donde se deposita, las carteras de, de donde se deposita monedero. el dinero y, no, monedero es diferente, o sea, las carteras donde depositan sus documentos. Para Yo sabía que se llamaba wallet, handbag. Pero handbag, handbag es como la cartera. Ah, okay. Va, billetera, pues, billetera. Billetera, Ajá. Y esta es la última round. Alma. Um, pony. Number of points. 200. Okay. I have three quarters. How much money do I have? Si tengo three quarters, how much money do I have? Vamos a ver. Experts in mathematics. <laughs> 75 cents. Yes, so 75 cents. Good. Lupita, select the last one. Um, money. Um, money. Number of points? And 400. 400. Okay. Vamos a ver. I want to make a dollar 
using 20 coins. What coins do I need? How many coins do I need? Um, I want to make a dollar using 20 coins. A is a bank. Point. Eight. 18 $70? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, if I have a dollar, it's $20. Um, see, 18 quiero, quiero hacer, dice, Point. quiero hacer un dólar usando 20 monedas. What ah. coins do I need? Five. Five center. Five. What do you say, Alma? <laughs> Vamos Make a ver. Do you agree, Alma? De a cinco. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Five cents. But I need Five. 80. Quiero, eight. quiero hacer un dólar eight. usando 20 monedas. ¿Qué monedas necesito? Five coins. Coins? No. Five cents. Five cents. Nickels. Do you know what are nickels? No. Nickels. Son los centavitos. Suelto. Uh... Centavitos. Quiero hacer un dólar usando 20 monedas. ¿Qué monedas necesito? Los nickels. And that was. Okay. Any question until here? No money. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> boy. <Moisés. Started>, yeah. <laughs> no fuimos en bancarrota. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Necesitamos el más estudio de money, teacher. <laughs> How are you, Moisés? Estado calladito. You have eh, well, no sé si soy yo, pero no le escucho, Moisés. No sé. ¿Le no escuchan sé, ustedes a Moisés? ¿Se le escucha así como? I have a little six. Eh, I want to fever. You have fever. Ah. Uh, but uh, can you participate in the class? Do you feel well to participate? Excuse me? Do you want to participate in the class? Do you feel good? ¿Se siente bien para participar in the class? Uh, yes, yes, yes I do. Okay, okay Moises, very good. Um, we are talking about the unit number seven from the platform, que es sending a package. Eh, hemos estado haciendo una serie de activities eh, related with the topic, and right now, Moisés, I will show you a video. Repita, Alma and Moisés, I will show you a video. The video is about eh, shopping online versus shopping in a store. It's a video from three minutes. After watching the video, you have to take note because after watching the videos, you are going to speak one minute about what you understood from the video. Is clear? One minute. What, teacher? Okay, again. I will play a video. Let me show you here. Permítame, lo voy a mostrar. But you are going to watch this video right now that is about shopping online versus shopping in a store. Van a ver este video que es de three minutes. Dura tres minutes. Tienen que tomar notes porque after finishing the video, después de finalizar el video, ustedes van a hablar one minute about what you understood, de lo que comprendieron sobre el video. It's clear? It's clear, teacher. 
is clear, teacher. Okay, so here we go. Pay attention, take note. I will play just one. Solo lo voy a poner una sola vez. Here we go. For the first time ever, online shopping officially overtook brick and mortar shopping in February, according to the Commerce Department. But does shopping online actually mean you're saving a buck? Renato Gregorio compares your traditional shopping cart to the one you click in today's Smart Shopper. If ever there was a time to make a pro and con list, it's now. We know you love your online shopping, but how's it compared to shopping you actually have to put on pants for? Let's break it down. Online shopping is at your fingertips 24-7. We know the pros, convenience, any product your little heart desires, availability, especially if what you want is an in-store, time-saving, because click is a whole lot faster than trying to find a parking space before Christmas. But if actually setting foot in an establishment is your MO, some pluses, you actually get to interact with an item before you drop some change, and customer service is a whole lot easier. It's instant gratification, we know you're impatient, no shipping costs, nor return costs because you're the shipper, and looking to kill some time on a Saturday? A shopping trip sounds like a plan. So right now you might be saying, duh Renata, we know this. Stay with me here, we're going through it because it'll come in handy later. Keep in mind, online price comparison can be way easier than driving around to 15 different stores. There are smart shopper apps and sites for this, like on Price Grabber, you can compare everything. Then, if you still want, go to the store. Don't forget about shipping costs. Also, look for discount codes online. All right, so what if you're shopping for something specific? <laughs> like a TV. Bringing in the data on this one, tech advice website LifeWire went through our trusty list and here's their final verdict on prices. Go online for the best deal on a TV. They say most online prices are lower even with shipping. The catch here, research the company you're buying from and read the fine print. Second thing we're shopping for, clothes. The main consensus on this one, sales, sales, sales. Keep track of online ones and in store because sometimes one is better than the other. If you're going online, do your research. Are reviews saying the shirt runs big? Is it made out of terrible material? Find out. For some overall tips, we look to consumer expert Clark Howard. First, do your research online to compare your prices before going to the store and see if the store will match your prices. Second, make a list and don't impulse buy. Lastly, check out reviews on your smartphone of something you see in the store. So if you're doing all this price comparison, you're probably not doing it at small businesses. Why, where you drop your dollars can matter later in our Smart Shopper series. Putting the Valley First, Renata Di Gregorio, WZDX News. Black Friday means some door busters you have to go shop in the store for. Shop Black Friday to get the newest expensive item. Shop Cyber Monday for older generations of your smaller gadgets. Tonight we will take a look at the importance of shopping locally. Okay. Very good. So how was it? Hello? Hello. So how was the video? Um uh, was the shopping uh, online. Okay, hold on, hold on. It was about shopping online versus shopping in the stores, right? Shopping in the store, yeah. Okay, I will give you one minute so you can talk about what you understand. De lo que comprendió, va a hablar un minuto sobre el video. It's clear? It's clear. Okay, who wants to start? Uh, in this video, I... Okay, hold on. Start. Wait, wait, wait. I, I will play... Okay, I start now, Moises. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I start. Okay. Uh, in this video, I saw... Uh, what I what I can 
shopping in in store in in online too uh, is very faster is a one characteristic a uh, touch item customer customer service uh, no shipping uh, in in this in this place I can can buy a smart TV in in on okay very good Moises great job you spoke the minute good Moises select between Alma or Lupita eh, Alma ready Alma yes I couldn't understand uh, too much but the whole video okay yeah okay go ahead uh, I understood uh, that uh, lastly, a lot of people like to buy online and not to go uh, to the, the store. Uh, just take, a, <laughs> I don't know, your cell phone and computer and, and choose a product, for example, a TV. And but the 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 bent advantage is an advantage because in the store you can you can choose and compare uh, the products uh, different in the store you can you can look or watch uh, different products and compare the price size for example when you buy clothes or shoes but uh, people are uh, no people like to buy online okay very good in the last class you recommend not to uh, shop online right <laughs> <laughs> okay yes. um lupita it's your turn okay um what i understood from the video and vintage on this vintage of buying on the shop, uh, touching the product and knowing what it looks like and being served by a sales person in the store and compare on the size and tips on the on the shoes, on the clothes or TVs or er everything on the department store. There are season, sp seasonal special and they were the, are more in the Black Friday is in moment in the USA is on the, and the customers is in aument. Uh, also the best offers are in the store or better in person uh, see that the presenter recommend recommend both ways okay very good so there are advantages and disadvantages right when you buy yeah. or when you shop in a stores you can compare products but when you shop online you can't However, mm -hmm. when you shop online, you can do it from home. And you are in a comfort uh, form, in a comfort zone, when you do it on your house. And it doesn't require you move from one place to another. So both of them uh, have advantages and disadvantages. So I, it's up to you if you decide uh, one of these two options. Moises, what do you prefer, shopping online or uh, shopping in the store? Shopping online because I 
I think that is a cheapest. Okay, it's cheapest. Very good. Alma, I will ask you again. Online or in the stores? I know your answer. Alma? Uh, I would prefer to go to uh, the store. Go to the store. Why? Uh, because you can make, no, you can choose uh, everything <laughs> there are. Okay. Lupita, what about you? Online or in a store? And the shop in the store. I uh, is funny and the, the um, is um es como liberar estrés shop in the the um this is size um in the shop more more things or on the in the shop and the touch um the <laughs> okay, so you relieve a stress. Relieve yes, a relieve stress. 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 Okay, very good. Um, an, so right now, for, for the mm -hmm. therapy, for in the therapy. Sure. <laughs> Monday. Uh, I have to let in the class. Okay, um, I understand. I hope to see you in the last one that will be on Thursday. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Okay, good night, Alma. Okay, so now uh, Moises and Lupita, we are going to uh, be the only ones here. What are we going to do right now? We are going to review some models because the models uh, are uh, present in the unit number seven. So do you remember which models are in unit seven? Tenemos algunos modales en la unidad siete. Do you remember which uh, which ones? Um, in some the birds models. Um, must. Um, use it can. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, when no. do we use show? models? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show is a model, teacher. Show. show. No. No. Should. Should. Ah, should. Ah, should. Ah, ahí sí. Es, ah, es que si es show, show es como mostrar, ¿verdad? Should, ahí sí, should. es el model. Should. Should. Okay, um, I see. May? Mm -hmm. The most. Okay. Uh huh. So we use models. When when do we use models? Mm, and the platform is on the interview. And using interview. Using an interview. Okay, so right now we are going to review some models. Le vamos a dar un review algunos models. And then we are going to practice uh, through uh, some activities. Let me show you my screen. Vamos a dar un review a esto de los models. Okay, es muy importante que recordemos que los modales expresa nada más y nada menos que habilidad o posibilidad. Eso es lo que demuestran los modales. Habilidad y posibilidad. Ability and possibility. Posibility. Tenemos acá can y can't. Moisés. Help me to read. Can, can, can't express if it's used to 
express ability, inability in the present. As they can, they cannot run very fast. And ask, give, refuse permission. Can I borrow you? You call her. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Ok. We have el can y el can para habilidad y para permission. Ask, give, or refuse permission. Para pedir una permission, para dar una permission, y para refuse a permission. What is a permission? No de to to tocar algo, tomar algo. Moisés, what is permission? Eh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, I can, eh, you you can help me, help me please. Por ejemplo. Ok, can you help me please? Good. So, acá tenemos el, el can y el can que es para pedir eh, o para hacer una petición. Hacer una petición, eh, dar, o, eh, dar permiso o eh, refuse, eh, no aceptar una petición. Y también lo utilizamos para ability. Como una ability, I can speak English. You can dance. They can speak Japanese. Es una ability, ¿verdad? Pero si yo digo, I can't eh, ride a bike, es una inability. Ahora también, I repeat, I, ask, give, and I refuse can't permission. Sing. I can't sing. Can or can't? Can. Can sing o singing? No, sing. Sing. Ajá. Cuando utilizamos un modal, el verbo va en su base form. Siempre que base utilicemos form. un modal verb. Yes. Moisés, can you tell me an ability you have? Uh, for example, I, I can play softball. Okay, I can play softball. Very good. That is an ability. Tenemos el primero, ¿verdad? El siguiente es could and couldn't. Lupita, help me you. Yeah. And cold. Yes. Cold and couldn't. I, I could. I could, no, I could, uh, cook. Okay, help me to read. Are you the malaria here? Ah, okay. <laughs> I couldn't. It is used to express ability, inability in the past. Example, they could, call, bark very loud when they were pup, puppies. 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 Perritos. Okay, puppies. Puppies. Ask permission, polite, make polite requests. Example, call I sit on your lap, please. Call I have some more food, please. Okay. So, el cool y el current, la habilidad la expresa en el pasado. Can y can't, habilidad o inhabilidad en presente. Could and couldn't, habilidad o inability in past. Yo puedo decir, eh, when I was 10, cuando yo tenía 10, I couldn't speak English. But now I can, hoy sí puedo. De igual forma, utilizamos este could y este couldn't para hacer peticiones eh, más formales, más polite. El can también es para peticiones, pero cuando lo queremos hacer de una manera más polite, 
utilizamos este cool y este couldn't. ¿Alguna question hasta acá? And the pronunciation en pol, politel. ¿Cómo se polite. pronuncia bien, teacher? Polite. Ah, politely, politely. ¿Esta? Politely. Sí. Politely. 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 La otra es polite. Any other question? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, it's clear. It's clear. Tenemos el may y el may not. Moisés, help me to read. May, uh, may not. It's used to express possibility. For example, they might pity you. Uh, ask here, refuse permission, formal. Example, may I have snack? Yes, you may. You may, perdón. No, you may not. Ok. So, este expresa, dígame Lupita. And teacher, in the pronunciation, in refuse permission, ¿cómo sería que se dice esa? Re refuse permission. Refuse, refuse permission, en español. Ah, no, en, en inglés para Hola. pronunciarlo, es así, teacher. Ah, refuse, refuse permission. Y refuse for, permission. Formal. formal, ahí sí, formal. For, formal. Yes, formal. Good, este expresa posibilidad. Eh, you may... Um, ¿Qué? Eh, you may speak Japanese. Pueden, podrían hablar es Japanese. Japanese. Or, aquí tenemos eh, la más, la forma más formal. El cool y el couldn't era de una forma polite. Y este ya es de una manera más formal. Más que el cool y el couldn't, y el couldn't, I'm sorry, tenemos el may y el may not. En el caso de may es para hacer las las requests, ¿verdad? Pero más formal. No sé si estamos clear acá. Eh, in the... Yes, teacher. Could, could and is in formal form. Y may, may not is on the formal form. Could uh, and couldn't speak. is polite. Es de una manera polite. educada. Educada. Ajá. Ah, el can y el can't sí lo podemos utilizar, pero es como más informal. Es cool informal. Y form. current, ajá, cool and current eh, lo utilizamos para eh, 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 más educada, de, para, pre, para preguntar de una manera más educada. O sea, las dos expresan habilidad, ¿verdad? El can y el cool. Sí. En afirmativo y en negativo present, eh, expresan habilidad y inhabilidad. Pero para aceptar o dar o, o refuse permission, el can es informal, cool es más educado y el may ya es más formal. Si ustedes se, re, okay. se, se dirigen hacia una persona superior o una persona que ustedes le tengan respeto y que le quieran preguntar de una manera formal, ahí ya es el may. Por eso que a veces decimos, may I go to the restroom? O sea, le estoy pidiendo de una manera formal. ¿Alguna question sí. hasta acá? Eh, teacher, una eh, one question. Eh, ¿Se podría utilizar, digamos, ambas para, para dirigirse, digamos, a eh, digamos, ya sea importante, vale, digamos que si la persona, por ejemplo, es eh, de, de la familia, yo lo puedo hacer, si yo quiero, lo puedo hacer formal o informal, eh, ambas. 
ambas, sí, exacto. Ahora, el, el Ken, digamos que usted se dirija a su hermano o a su hermana, por ejemplo, o a un amigo o a una amiga, puede utilizar el Ken, pero eh, si usted lo quiere hacer de una manera más educada, que es sonar más educado, sería el cool. Y el may ya es cuando nos dirigimos a una persona eh, como a un jefe o a alguien que nosotros respetemos bastante y que lo queremos hacer o queremos pedir algo de una manera más formal. ¿Clear? Ok, teacher, thanks. Ok, vamos al siguiente. Tenemos el must y el mustn't. Lupita. Yes. Aquí estoy. Help me to read must and mustn't. <laughs> ok. Must and mustn't. It, it is used to uh, must must express obligation example they must go home and mustn't express prohibition example uh, they mustn't be in here okay ese expresa una obligación en el eh, afirmativo y una prohibición en el negativo por ejemplo, una obligación podría ser you must connect to the classes. Deben de conectarse a las clases. It's your obligation. ¿Por qué es your obligation? Because you want to learn English. Ahora, tenemos que el negativo expresa una prohibición total. O sea, una prohibición. You mustn't um, smoke in the hospital. No deben de smoke in the hospital. ¿Estamos clear con el uso del must y el mustn't? Clear, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Oites? Ok, seguimos en el siguiente. Ah, no, es un exercise. Entonces, repasando, vimos can, can't, could, couldn't, may, may not, y eh, must, en mustn't, ¿verdad? Tell me what is the correct option here. Vamos a ir one by one. Solo las primeras six, vamos a ver. En number one, Moisés, select the right answer. Moisés. Uh, I can. Ok. I can go to the doctor. Puedo ir al doctor, me siento enfermo. Mm, so acá I sería must, I must. I must. Ajá. Debo de ir al doctor. Es mi obligación porque yo me siento mal. Y para ah, curarme okay. es mi obligación asistir. Y es obligación, ajá, ok. Ajá. Lupita. You could open your books. Ok, in this case, ambas serían correct, pero ahí dependiendo del contexto es donde ustedes van a utilizar el could y el may. Eh, yo les digo a mis, a mis friends, yo les puedo decir, eh, you could open your books, a mis amigos, pero ya a mis students, you may open your books. Ya soy más eh, formal, formal with you. Uh -huh. With a friend is different, with the students is different too. Number three, solo vamos a ver las primeras cinco. Um, may may have mod some no mods 
most I. No, may. May. May I have some more tea? Yes, it's may. Let's see next. Moises? Number four, Moises, they can or they mustn't give alcohol to the animals. Ah, ok. Y... ¿Cuál utilizamos para una prohibición total? Ajá. De, de, they mustn't, mustn't give alcohol to the animals. Very good. And finally, Lupita. That color is too expensive. We can't or we may not buy it. Uh, we may not buy it. Uh, in este case, it's kin. No podemos comprarlas. It's kin. ¿Hay alguna cuestión hasta acá sobre los models? Any question, teacher? Okay. Now, let's make um, the last activity. Vamos a hacer la última activity. Wait a second. Let's... Um, Take a quiz. Vamos a tomar un pequeño quiz acerca de los models. I will send you the link in the WhatsApp group. Then you are going to take the quiz and vamos a ver how much you understood. Let's see. Wait a second. Hold on. That's charging. Teacher, mandará el link al grupo. Ahorita, ahorita. Es que se me estaba... Estaba cargando, pero ahorita ya me cargó. Ahorita les mando el link al grupo. Aquí les va. Ahorita. Está, ingresemos al link. Y les comparto my screen. Ok. Let me know when you are in. Ahí tenemos a alguien que se ya se nos unió, que es Lupita. Solo nos hace falta Moisés. Ahí está Moisés, ya. Ok. Van a eh, ver una serie de preguntas o una serie de, de oraciones donde ustedes van a elegir la respuesta correcta. ¿Es clear? It's clear. It's clear. Aquí vamos. Todo lo van a hacer eh, solo viendo la pantallita de quizzes, ¿verdad? Aquí no van a ver mi pantalla ni nada, solo la de quizzes. Aquí vamos. Go ahead.
Okay, Moises finish. Lupita is missing. So he here is the position. First place is Moises. And in second place is Lupita. How was the game? Was it difficult? Was it? No, good. It is, um, and <laughs> it's very good and funny. It was funny. So how were the questions? How were the sentences with the model? Were they easy? Easy, but in my, my clear ideas, that I, I have clear ideas. Ok, eh, de igual forma en este les aparecía el should, right? Y el have to y el don't have to, right? Right. Ajá. Yo, yo por eso no lo marqué. <laughs> ah, ok. So they were, eh, there are many models, hay muchos models, tenemos el might, el may. Um, have to, don't have to, should. Tenemos diferentes models, but um, the use is different for each of them. I don't know if you have any question about today's class. No, teacher. All clear. Is everything clear? Okay. Um, ninguno de ustedes está pendiente con ninguna evaluación. Ya están. Eh, you are done, ya están completos con las activities y con las units. And eh, solo estamos esperando ya la última tutoría para finalizar el módulo, ¿verdad? Que sería el día jueves. No sé si tienen eh, algún comment. Ah, uh, teacher, excuse me. Dígame. Eh, y este, solo quería consultarle que si al terminar este módulo, eh, solo nos falta una tutoría, ¿verdad? Pero después eh, ya no continuaríamos. Como no, seguirían en el siguiente nivel, que sería el intermedio 2. Ah, ok, ok. Es que como en la plataforma solo aparece, ya no aparece más cuadrito, ¿verdad? o sea, más, eh, más capítulo. Ah, no, es que como acuérdese que termina, estamos terminando un nivel. Estamos finalizando el nivel del intermedio 1. Porque como no, tuvimos un lapso de como un mes o mes y medio, algo así, para que les eh, aperturaran otra vez las otras cuatro unidades. Ya habíamos hecho las primeras cuatro y esta vez estamos haciendo las otras cuatro restantes. Como un nivel tiene eh, ocho unidades. Entonces estamos cerrando el nivel del intermedio uno. Seguimos con el um, intermedio dos en el siguiente nivel. Ah, ok. It's clear. Or... Y ahí ah, okay. tendríamos que, uh -huh. ahí nos van a pedir las documentaciones, ¿verdad, teacher? Nuevamente, sí. Aunque estaba viendo los reportes y creo que se quedan tres. Entonces vamos a, a esperar a ver qué dice la coordinadora. Porque tres no me han avanzado prácticamente nada. Y eh, vamos a quedar a la espera de que ella les, les pida la documentación para que volvamos a, a inscribirnos, ¿verdad? Eh, so... It was everything for today's class. Thanks for joining, and I hope to see you in the last session that it will be on Thursday, verdad? See you Thursday, teacher. Have a good night and blessings. Okay, blessings to you too. See you Thursday. Bye bye. Sleep safe and Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night to you too, Moises. Bye.